I was just thinking about this question about if you wanted to become a web designer, would Bootstrap Studio be good enough to have clients and um, things like that if you wanted to do it professionally or semi-professionally? Would Bootstrap Studio be enough? And I think for just purely web designers, I think it probably would. Um, what Bootstrap has, just Bootstrap without the Bootstrap Studio, it has a lot of fluff. So when you go into things on the studio here, I mean, you've got um, banners, you've got advanced pricing cards, uh, image tab galleries, um, horizontal, and this is the, and another carousel, gradient nav bars, and all the fancy stuff that comes with Bootstrap. Um, the problem lies in here is that you can become very reliant on just purely a, a, a Bootstrap itself. If you've done a few sites in Bootstrap Studio, you'll see how they've um, do it when you, you go into the you know, the folder that you're going to be using. But there are others. If you want to become a web developer, now web design and web developer has overlap. There's no doubt about it. But if you wanted to become a professional web developer, now you do need other, other skills really. And this is um, this the actual um skeleton of this which is my website and um if you go into view source this is based or built purely on my favorite one which is foundation now foundation i'll leave all this in the link below or in the um, description and that foundation is like a few others um you don't have the fluff you have to do the whole thing so, for example, you don't get all these uh, fancy stuff that you get in Bootstrap. And Bootstrap will always probably be the most popular one because of all the, all the stuff that comes with it. Another one I did um, is done by a company called Coffee Cup Software. I don't, <laughs> don't recommend getting anything from Coffee Cup Software. I think they make rubbish software. Um, I think with this was something called the RLM and this came out about six years ago it was uh, something called layout maker and it was so hard to understand and it tried a little bit like bootstrap studio to have fancy stuff in or it was going that way and to make it easier in fact bootstrap studio just it was it was an expensive program um, I thought it was going to be great I've done actually some videos on this, but the uh, it, it just wasn't. It was <laughs> you can still make video, um, still make websites with it and that, but it really was a difficult program to understand, and not just for me, for most people who used it. However, what it does is that if you use something like this, you know the rest's going to be easy. So Bootstrap Studio is is like sort of it's cheaper than coffee cup stuff, and it's definitely definitely easier to use. Um, but I just thought I'd uh, raise that question um, see what your thoughts are as well. Web designers can get away with uh, just using this. If you're going to take over someone else's work, by the way, this is an another thing which I wouldn't do unless you can deliver um, and definitely deliver for people taking over someone else's site. Um, maybe they've done something in foundation for example or there's, a, there's actually another one called skeleton um, and there's probably a lot more but these foundation skeleton uh, the coffee cup thing and bootstrap are the ones that uh, that I know of but the, the foundation is definitely the one that I would go for obviously I make a lot of videos about bootstrap and because it is the most popular so I hope uh, someone's found that interesting and again thanks for watching.